Hey guys, Scope Scripture here, back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make um, EDA Interact System in Roblox Studio quickly and easily, minimum scripting. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to insert a part, you're going to press the little plus button, and you're going to insert a proximity prompt. And if you play this right now with only the proximity prompt in it, it will show E to Interact. See, just like that. Um, obviously, uh, obviously, though, it's not customized and it can't do much good to us right now because there's no scripts in it and nothing else. So if you open up properties and click on proximity prompt, I'll be showing you how to customize this. Um, if you disable clickable prompt, then what will happen is if you walk up to it, and I'm just going to test this to show you guys right now. If you walk up to this and you try to click it with your mouse instead of using the keyboard, um, like this, I'm using my keyboard right now, I'm pressing E, but if you try to click the letter, uh, the letter, you know, UI that pops up, uh, it does not work versus if I press the keyboard. But if you do enable this, then, uh, clickable prompt, then the player will be able to walk up and click this instead, uh, and use the keyboard if you want to do that. Uh, I'm just going to disable this. Um, next thing I'm going to want to see, uh, you know, to customize is hold duration. This is the amount of time that the player has to hold down the button. Um, currently, it's zero, so if we actually just test this right now, and I'm going to be showing you, uh, if you walk up, it, it won't have a little circle icon, you know, like in Jailbreak when you try to uh, rob the gas station or anything. If you walk up to this, it just goes like that, because the hold duration is zero right now, so it immediately counts as, as clicked. But we can change the hold duration to something like five, and now if we play this, the player will have to hold down the letter for five seconds before it is clicked officially. So see now this little circle thingy appears and we have to hold it down and boom, there it goes. Now the next thing I wanna show you, we are going to change the letter that um, this part, you know, that you have to click. So right here under keyboard code, you can select the drop down and you can literally change it to any keyboard, uh, sorry, any key you can find on the keyboard. I'm just gonna keep it to E though. Max activate, uh, sorry, max activation distance is just the number of studs away that you want the player to be before the pop-up for the E to interact pops up. Um, name is just the name, obviously. Uh, that's pretty much it. You can also change the style, like custom, default, and you can change custom, uh, make custom styles for the text and everything, but I'm not going to be going over that. Now I'm going to be showing you how to actually script this proximity prompt uh, to make a simple E to interact system for whatever you want. So we're just going to insert a script into this part, and we're going to do script.parent.proximityprompt, and then um, dot um, prompt uh, button hold ended, clone connect function, and we're going to enter down, and I'm just going to do script.parent dot, uh, sorry, colon destroy. And all this will do, um, once the hold button, uh, prompt button hold ended, what this means is, uh, once the duration of hold is over, so once you hold E for the uh, duration, which for us is 5 seconds currently, then connect function, and then it destroys this part. Um, but right here, it doesn't have to be colon destroy. You can make this whatever you want to happen after you, you know, hold the E to interact. But for me, it's going to be script up here and colon destroy. Alright, so let's test this right now. And if we walk up to this part and we press E, or hold E to interact, right here, we can hold E, and once it, uh, you know, completes, uh, the block should disappear, and there it goes, it disappears, and it gets destroyed. And again, you guys can, you know, change the colon destroy to whatever function you might want to do, or, you know, thing you might want to do. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope this helped you out, and I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. See you guys in the next video.